Be quiet. Stay unattached to your thoughts and don't make an effort. To be bound takes effort. To be free takes no effort. Thought obscures and will never reveal that. So don't think. Peace is beyond thought and effort. This is why keeping quiet is the key to the storehouse of love and peace. Identify yourself as this quietness, as this nothingness, and be careful not to make it an experience, because this is mind tricking you out of it, with the trap of duality, the trap of witness and witnessed. Being is being, there is no witness and no witnessed. After letting go of object, do not hold on to the subject either. Let go, be quiet. So let's take a look at that. Be quiet, it is pointing on your natural state of being, which is behind any thought. So it's not necessarily not speaking physically. It is fixing the attention on that which is prior to any thought. Stay unattached to your thoughts. This is when you lose interest in the thoughts. You're not going to get attached to them. If you're interested in the thought, that implies you still believe the thoughts to be real. So in order to be detached from any thought, you have to examine if the thought is real or unreal. The moment you realize that a thought is not real, you cannot get attached to it. And if you do, it's because when it appeared again, you didn't examine it, and out of habit you believed it to be real. So the cause of detachment is discrimination. And the way you discriminate the thought, you question if the thought is real. What does it mean? When a thought appears, it's always of memory from the past, and this memory appears to be a projection into the future. It appears now, yet a memory is a thought that is describing something that is not happening right now. Therefore, the content of the thought is unreal, whether it's image of a picture, of an object, or an image of an event, or an image of a conceptual image of yourself, or who you take yourself to be. Just question if these thoughts are real or not real. When you see that the thought is not real, the mind would not get attached to it. So therefore, staying unattached is by discriminating the thought, realizing they are not real, from within, not just understanding intellectually, seeing it. And then, while seeing it, then, if the self, which is you, which is absolutely silent and aware, shine through, then fix the attention on that, and remain as that unattached. Don't make effort pointing, don't even steer a thought when you fix the attention on that which is absolutely still and quiet. I'll mention what is inquiry into the self that is fixing the attention. Let's see here. Self-inquiry is the process by which attention is put on the substratum, the self, instead of on the names and forms, which are thoughts, that are, that are habitually imposed on it, on the self. So if we can see that 
self-inquiry is just fix fixing the attention on who you truly are and not following any thoughts means not being interested in any thought to be bound takes effort to be free takes no effort when you bound by any idea any idea the mind has one has to sustain it prove it so let's say you have an idea that opposes another friend's idea and you want to be right pay attention how much effort you try to convey your message and justify that your idea is the right idea yet if you truly examine this idea you might come to realize that this idea is is unreal just a concept that you adopted or think it to be true getting attached to it sustaining it justifying its reality and that takes a lot of effort a lot of mental movement a lot of energy thought obscure obscures and will never reveal that so don't think if your attention is on the thought then it appears like awareness shrink down to an object thought that is made from name and form and that obscures this awareness so if the mind slow down and is not fast movement of thoughts just question the thought it can be who is aware of the thought and when that question complete itself just recognize what remains you might be able to recognize the silence within you right now a silent presence of awareness that might be in the background or boundless explore your experience this moment so there would be the recognition a glimpse of who you are it doesn't take any time nor practice to directly experience who you are because time and practice is movement of the mind yet who you are is prior to any movement 